Welcome to the unboxing of Seasonic Prime Ultra Titanium 650W version power supply. What's special about this unit is its efficiency which is 93% at 10% load which is around 65 watts and it goes even higher up to 96% at 50% load which is around 325 watts. I use this power supply during the cooler tests which you already saw on my channel and the fans didn't spin once during the whole testing even when the load reached 250 watts. Because of these characteristics I'll be using it in my home server build which is coming up shortly. So let's have a look at it. After opening those two boxes you get to these seven items. The power supply users manual which contains two pages of actual information in 10 languages. Seasonic Prime features book which contains also two pages of actual information now in nine languages plus the information about the number of cables included. This sag has straps, stickers and installation instructions in it. This bag contains modular cables which can be connected to the power supply, power cable, a 24 pin PSU tester and the power supply itself. Let's remove the items which need no more exploration. Let's have a look at 24 pin power supply tester. You can use it only when the fan speed is set to normal mode. In the hybrid mode, it doesn't work. Let's have a look at what was in this sack. So there were these 12 plastic straps, 5 velcro straps, 2 stickers, 4 mounting screws and the installation instructions guide. I'll clear the space on the table for the next phase. Let's have a look at the modular cables. Altogether you get these 11 power cables. Let's begin with the Molexes. So here is 1x2 and 1x3. Then the SATA cables, 1x4 and 1x2. Reduction from Molex to SATA, 1x2. Reduction from Molex to small 4 pin. 24 pin power cable. Two CPU 8 pin power cables, each can be divided into two 4 pins. And two dual PCIe 8 pin power cables, each can be divided into one six pin and one dual pin. Let's have a look at all of the cables again, just from a different perspective, now with the measurements. You can find the length of the cables on this box, but just for the comparison, this is easy to see, and you can pause this video and find out whether the length of the cables fit your needs. Let's have a look at the dimensions first. So the length is 17 centimeters. The width is 15 centimeters. And the thickness is 8.7 centimeters. 
Since we are on this side of the power supply, we can have a look at the connectors. These are for powering the CPU, these for the PCI Express, these two for the motherboard, and these four are for powering SATA or Molex powered devices. Let's turn the power supply to the other side. This side is simple. Here is a connector for power cable, on and off switch, and another switch for choosing between hybrid and normal mode for the fans. The difference is that in the hybrid mode, fan stays completely silent up to 40% load, which is somewhere around 250-260 watts. In the normal mode, the fans keep spinning all the time, although very slowly in the low loads, and it increases its speed depending on the load. The power supply uses 135mm fan, which can spin up to 1800 rpm depending on the load. It uses fluid dynamic bearings which can last up to 40,000 hours of operation. Now let's have a look at the bottom. Overall, the power supply is very heavy and the build looks absolutely solid. It breathes reliability. Seasonics also offering a 12 year warranty for the power supply, which speaks for itself. Let's have a look at the final close shots of the power supply from all sides. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.